Hey everybody, Excel Dude again. Today we're going to show you two fast and easy ways to get a PDF document into your spreadsheet without having to type it out or do any manual entry. You don't want to type out rental equipment, the headers, and then all this, and that, and that. The first way, we're going to cheat a little bit. All you do is we're going to open Microsoft Word. So we just open Word. So all we're going to do is take the file, click it, and you'll drag it. It can be anywhere in here. doesn't matter here, 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 here. It's all working. Just let go. Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. It may take a while. The resulting document is going to be optimized, allow you to edit text. You can fix spelling errors. And just because it's optimized, there will probably be some odd things. Like it won't pick up G's or Y's, sometimes P's. Sometimes it does. It just depends. We hit OK. So like I said, dollar signs they appeared most of the time but this one got missed these did that one did that's not a problem we just go here add it it's completely editable we have these little text boxes here they showed up as images so it adds them in you can delete them delete them delete them delete them and this one so right here fencing g and then charge you pretty much just change things here, no problem. And you can take this, click on this box here, it highlights, copy with control C, or you can right click, copy. We go back to our spreadsheet, and we can either hit control V, or another way I like to do it is you click here, right click, and you can always do uh, keep or match destination formatting so it'll format it like Excel so instead of word format right here where you have a few extra things columns or, or cells are merged here it's just basically fix the spelling errors and fix the dollar signs a few odd little quirks but the other one we can do a little more useful a little more Excel savvy you go here to your data tab click that and on the far left you have get data all you're going to do is open this up and it's going to start using Power Query for you. Power Query is super powerful, super easy, and super convenient in this scenario. So it's in a PDF. So we go from File, PDF, and we can look wherever we stored it. So it's on the desktop, Excel table from document. I want this in there. I click that, press Import. And we come to this screen. So this is Power Query. Don't let it intimidate you. First, we click Table 1. That's exactly what I wanted. Hey, great. It was in a PDF. And if we want it, we click Load right there. Problem solved. And then you can cut the data up how you want. Maybe we want these centered. No different than any other thing in Excel. Right here. Maybe we want it to be currency. That'll work. We can make these bold. We can do really whatever we want to do in here. So it's just a regular Excel table. Now the other way we can do it on there is if we want to edit it. Once we receive it, maybe a document comes to us every single day. We don't want to have to keep typing it up. We can go data, get data, just like we did from file, PDF, and we'll pick the same one. You can double click it or click load, but right here, we want to delete that revenue column. So you click that. We want this gone. We don't even have to worry about it. We just want it to be automatic. Then instead of clicking load, transform. So we transform our data. As that happens, it brings us into the Power Query window. And all that's going to let us do in, in the editor here, you click your column. And just like you would anywhere else, you can right click it, remove. And here you can change the format you can do one cell you can do all of the cells you can do the entire column transform you can change all of these um, these nice deals here you can replace values but what you'll do when you're good to go home close and load and there it is without the revenue and again you can change it just like you would anything else so that's two quick ways to get everything into Excel. Uh, you can do it from a PDF, and it should take you hopefully a couple of seconds. Thanks for watching. See you next time.